I got a chance to watch this wonderful Netflix show that you should definitely go see. It's called Trigger Warning with Killer Mike. Now, one of the most interesting kind of political satire shows out there where he explores six different topics. And what I want to talk about today is my reaction to the episode called uh, Crippa Cola. The overall idea of this episode was that the Hells Angels are allowed to sell merchandise. They're, they're a national corporation. They can sell merchandise in stores, they can sell t-shirts, everything. But for some reason we never see, or never even thought of, to be honest, I never even thought of, why wouldn't the Crips or the Bloods do the same thing? They're two of the largest, most popular gangs in America, hands down. So, what this does is just explore the idea of what would happen if these guys or these gangs go out and start their own company. Now, to me, simple and amazing premise. What great episodes are made of. Um, that's not what I'm going to talk about here. Although it's wonderful, and I definitely will be supporting Cola. that's not what this episode, that's not what this discussion is going to be about. This is going to be more so around the statement that was made in the video where they say that the Bloods and the Crips are basically just street fraternities. Which, come on, street fraternities? Really? Street fraternities? So we call them like somebody crit walking the same thing as step, I guess crit walking and stepping? I don't know, it's both dancing in honor of your organization. Um, I, I guess they probably do have secret rituals to get in. I don't know how you get in. Uh, but, I don't know. There was something, and I talked to a couple of other people, but there's something about the idea of the term street fraternity that kind of rubs me, that initially rubbed me the wrong way. So I thought, let's explore that idea for a little bit. So the definition of Fraternity is a group of people sharing a common profession or interest. Members of a hunting fraternity. So the if you if you talk to any of the Divine Nine, specifically the uh, the male fraternities, they'll discuss that each one of these organizations have a consistent view or an idea that they all want to follow. Maybe the Bloods and Crips have that also. Um, but we, they do all tend to wear colors that they don't want anybody else to wear. They do have hand symbols that they don't want you to do unless you're a member. They also uh, have places that they sit or hang out that nobody else can sit or hang out unless you're a member. Uh, that looks bad. Some have questionable intake processes. Uh, some have been known to be a little violent stuff, but we try not to highlight that piece. I, I guess I can see how you would associate collegiate fraternities and sororities and say that the Crips was a street fraternity. Look, look let's keep it real. Um, if we're completely honest with ourselves, the reason why we don't, why people feel awkward about calling the Bloods or the Crips or any other gang a street fraternity is because at our core a lot of people within uh, the Divine Nine feel like they're not like us. And then anytime you say that it has an essence of elitism involved with it. And, and let's be honest, it's true. You feel like you're cut from a different cloth and some might say better. Do I agree with it? Consciously, I say no. And I say consciously, I say no, because I force myself to say no. Um, but, you know, we, you could view us as the same. Um, one thing I will say is that I like that these guys in the video are at least attempting to change the image. And what they're attempting to do is start a legitimized company and funnel 
use their image to sell a product. Hopefully the t-shirts grow and other things grow out of it. And they produce a system to one, help offer their members a pathway out if they want a way out or proceed to something else. Uh, I feel like one thing that we don't do well in black organizations as a whole, whether to legion fraternities or street fraternities, is make sure that we take care of our own throughout the life of their membership. And so hopefully with this company, that's something they can do. But one thing that the video did expose to me is that there is some feeling of elitism with collegiate fraternities and the innate feeling that you shouldn't compare us to them. And anytime you have a us and a them, it's a bad idea. So I don't know if that was the intention of Killer Mike in this video, but that's one thing it did expose within my mind. Uh, tell me your thoughts. Tell me if you agree. Tell me if you disagree. Uh, whatever you do, just subscribe. Thanks for watching.